Hello, 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 hello. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my place, Slasher's Keep. Apologies in advance. If I sound nasally, it's because I am. My left side, the weather, it's doing that thing. It's doing that thing. The yo-yo. Warm, cold, warm, cold, warm, cold, warm, cold. It always gets me. It gets me uh, stuffed up. But, yeah, I feel f mostly fine. Other than that, I'm just, I, I, I probably don't sound fine. Just putting that out there. Um, and because of that, you know, I might have, you know, I, I say episodes of stuff will be shorter. And then they end up being just as long. But, you know, this will probably be under an hour. Just because I don't like talking when I'm, I sound nasally, right? Oh, that'll clear your sinuses. Plus 40 dexterity. Thank you, Damien. <laughs> okay, it didn't really clear the sinuses, but it didn't make them feel any worse. Um. Whoa. You now, that's not a, like, much better, if at all, really better than any of our current components. But... We're starting to get some some okay, okay components. All right, there's our exit. I uh, you know I I was tempted to go in, but I mean Damien hitting us with that that pog potion early on has got me thinking. I swear every time I think that says chub rub. Um, you know maybe maybe we'll get some some more. Some more pog potions. We'll see, but um not gonna go too 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 bonkers with exploration. Oh there you are. Boom. Is it just just you? Yoink. Alright. He's dead. Turn that off. Alrighty. Alrighty. Righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. Anyways, hope you guys are doing well. I, um... Been playing some games lately. Some, like, a little bit more variety again. Um, spent a lot of time... Playing Spelunky 2. And I love it. I still love it. But, um, it's... You know what? Screw you. Wow, I killed him with my sack. It's been nice to... To, uh... To spend some time with some other games. I was talking about it last episode. The, um, Tarkov. And, uh... You know. When th this came along as well. We've been playing that. I've been enjoying it. But... I finally got to play... Well, I... Actually... Returned to That's not really Special but we'll hold on to it because it's small and we could sack it pretty easily uh, I returned to the monster train There was a little DLC preview this weekend, so they're coming out with some new DLC uh, I'm drawing a blank on what it's like the divinity Something is what it's gonna be called apologies. I, I don't Hey, stop this, bro. Don't remember exactly what it's called, but either way, there's a new class, which I'm also drawing a blank or a new champion. Worm? Worm something? Or wyvern? Wyvern something? Anyways, if you don't play the game, you're going to be kind of confused about the next little sentence or two. And even if you do play the game, you're gonna be like, what is Mouth talking about? But the the new class, it's, it's got this, uh, I keep thinking like, um, yeah, they were gonna add more champions or more uh, bosses and, and stuff like that. But like, how are they gonna do it without duplicating? You know, or, or making it just kind of weak and gimmicky and all that. But I was yet again surprised, it's like, this is a cool class. It doesn't feel too forced. Like, it, it feels like it's still adding something new or newish, you know? 
I could understand if it's maybe people's, uh, not their favorite class. Um, and I was confused at first, but, uh, it, it you know, after a few floors, I, I kind of get the, the mechanism. But it's like, you've got these little things called echoes or something. They just look like gems. I call them gems. And... Master Smith. Sorry, I'm going to focus on this for one second. Because I may actually want to buy something here. If all else fails, I'll just get the ring for free so we can disassemble it. Yeah, there's not. Or buy, uh, or sacrifice it, I should say. Yeah, we'll just take that. Don't die out there. Don't die out there. <laughs> um, yeah, so there are these echo things, and... I feel like in some aspects they kind of work like spikes if you're familiar with the the spikes in the game um, they kind of feel a little similar to spikes in some regards where um, and what else? there's there's uh, two new uh, what do I call, oh, call them uh, not status necessarily, but two new card properties. You, you know, help me out in the comments, but one's called, you know, so it called inspired. So every time you play a card that has inspired, um, it adds like a gem or an echo, um, to that floor. And they kind of, it kind of works the same way as capacity. Where at most you can have four echoes. You can actually have more, but um, any more than four gets removed at the end of the turn. Um, and uh, and then there's also extract, which when you play that card, it removes one of the the echoes. So what it results in is sometimes there's some pretty cool. Which way am I going? No? Are we done? I think we're done. Yeah, you get some pretty cool cards that like maybe cost very little or no actual mana or energy. But they, they cost a few of these echoes and stuff, which means you're taken away from them. And some of your cards, you know, um, I know I'm doing a poor job of explaining this. But some of your cards, like I was saying, it's kind of like spikes, so they'll do damage, you know, times the amount of, uh, echoes you got, which is kind of cool, too. Anyways, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty neat. I got a, I, I played around, I technically, and they added, like, a, the true boss, the true final boss. Um, and I got to it, but I didn't get to fight it because I had some other obligations. I was, you know, it's unfortunate because I, I'm a, I'm a slower card game player when I'm figuring it out. Like, I go real slow, but I like to, I like to play slow on stream because you get to, you know, give chat a chance to, to backseat. It's, you, you know, Slay the Spire is kind of a similar thing when I was... What are you doing? I was getting more familiar with it. So yeah, I could play faster and we'd be fine, but um, you know, sometimes I I actually just enjoy listening to what people have to say about a game. So after like every card draw or this or that, I'd be like, all right, mm, I'm thinking I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. What do you guys think? And it's nice. It's nice. But, uh, yeah. So I'm excited for the, the DLC itself. Hello. Come on. Come on, man. Um, and yeah, the, the reason I couldn't actually fight the, 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 the final boss is the preview is over this weekend. And, um... I was playing Deep Rock Galactic for the first time ever as well. Which is not a new game. But this is the first time I've I've had a a group that's wanted to play it. 
And a lot of people always ask, like, oh, you know, is this a game you'd ever play or have you played it? Will you play it? And I'm like, yeah, I'd play it. Is there a group? So I, it was, it was, oh, let's go. Orchestrated by Mathis. You may know that guy. He has games, Mathis games. Let's start with you and you and you. Um, and HC Justin was there and uh, a, a big, big uh, YouTube guy. Well, and Twitch as well, but uh, Lord Minion. Wait, it was my first time uh, doing anything with, with, with him. And we ended up like streaming it for like seven hours. It was kind of wild. We lost track of it. So I'm excited that it should be getting spliced up and put on the the channel here as well. Because I know some people don't like to watch Twitch VODs and all that. And Do I want to keep these? No. Do I want that? 274 XHP. It's got no, yeah, no strength or intelligence though. Oh, this is 269. Okay, so it's 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 really not any better. Plus, we got a sweet looking helmet on the ground there. That should be a purple, right? Yeah, some of these art styles they're like always that rarity. I feel like this is always purple. I don't think I've ever seen a blue, blue one of these. Uh, 333, 28 strength. So, it is a boost in armor. It's, uh, five more strength. You're losing 24 intelligence, though. What is going to come down to is the skills. So, this one has Scrap Collector, Master Disassembler, and Artisan. This has two Scrap Collector. But not the others. Our Artisan is overleveled, so losing that wouldn't be the end of the world. Scrap Collector 7. Oh, wait. It doesn't have... Neither have this one. Uh, I don't want to lose Master Disassembler, but... Scrap Collector. We are, we are scrapping everything, so... Increasing that by 1 would be... Would be nice. Oh, we got a wand as well. You know what? We're, yeah, we'll lose some intelligence, but that's okay. We drank a bunch of intelligence potions last episode. So, you know what? Let's do it to it. Uh, another wand. Dexterity intelligence. <laughs> Goodbye. All right. Let's start getting rid of the greens. Hoping we get another uh, elixir, another pog potion. Okay. Nothing yet. Ooh, that looks nice. It it looks like just like two the head of a nail. I mean, a little thicker, but on either side. It's pretty sweet. Oh, I see a paper. Papers, please. That's a good game. I never played enough of it. Turns... Oh, an item in the money. Ah... Uh... You know what? I don't even care about money. I probably should have just uh, sold the paper itself. Even for... I know we wouldn't have gotten as much money, but... That blue, we could have turned that into something... That we maybe actually would have wanted. <laughs> That's okay. This has not been a great altar. But, uh, I mean, there is like half the floor left. 
as well. So um, if we can get a, a full inventory even of, of greens, I'll come back. Anyways, uh, yeah, Deep Rock Galactic. So that was a that was a fun time. It's if you're not familiar, which I'm, you know, I'm I'm not assuming you aren't, but I also don't want to assume that you are. It's uh, it's like this cool space. Uh, you know, mining game. You're these dwarves, and you, you got a spaceship, and you kind of get to pick these different areas to go and mine and oh we you uh <laughs> i knew it was coming but uh again apologies for my my nasally um nose uh oh did i hit the button right so we got the yeah uh and yeah and you go you mine and so you'll you'll have kind of like oh you need to get x number of this x number of that and there's four different classes of, of dwarves. So one is like actually like a driller. They're really good at, at digging. Um, one's an engineer. That was the one that I played, uh, which is like, you've got a couple little turrets, little sentries that you can put up to help defend. And uh, you can also, uh, yeah, this gun that shoots these platforms that can kind of help you get to some trickier areas at times. And there's probably other stuff I'm forgetting, but um, there's a scout. They've got like this little kind of super grappling hook line so they can shoot it and then you can climb up and down it um, as well, which is pretty sweet. And then what's the last one? Oh, gunner, which they're really good at uh, shooting in, in particular, right? And so, yeah, like you're trying to mine this stuff but there's all these these bugs, different bugs and and uh, whatnot that can kill you in different ways, and they're they're trying to attack you while you're trying to get these resources. And so some of the resources, ooh, pyromaster level up. Some of these resources are used for, uh, or well, obviously the quest itself. Uh, but then you can mine other things there, like gold or, uh, yeah, this is different things that you can then use to upgrade specific things. Like you can make it so your weapons are stronger, um, or you know, do more damage, have more uh, capacity, or your your pickaxe itself um, can be better. And some of them are superficial things too. You can just change like the look of of your dude or your your weapons and all that. And and then you've got this kind of like this cool little spaceship home base type setup. It's like a little ju jukebox. And uh, you can dance and there's a little bar. And it's just, uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of neat. I never, never, ever, ever played it. That was legit the first time. And some people... Um, in our group had played it before I think it was Justin that was saying he had played before but it was a good chunk of time ago back when it was in you know in earlier beta and that they added a lot of stuff so um, yeah it's fun I hope uh, I hope we get to play more and and uh, after seven hours straight session is pretty fun you know it's pretty fun it's one of those things to like because it's not it's not a tedious sort of game where you're just like constantly mining and trying to get more stuff right like because of the whole you have to defend as well so you really have to work together with people um we started playing on hazard hazard four which is uh, the the difficulty right so Ooh, i want that um I'm just gonna get rid of that. I wanna I wanna be able to hold. Shit that. It's not super efficient. There we go. Um Ooh, crafting. Are we doing we're not doing any crafting now. We don't have any components, but we'll see what we get from here. Okay. 
We can we can sack that one. I think we can actually go back to Sack Town. Let's just go in this last door. I think there's a quest guy at the end. I yeah yeah. Do we have a quest? Dude. Or three enemies in a mechanical traps. Ah, that's one I. It might just kind of happen. Uh, it, it it seems to happen a lot when we get to one of the the next set of levels. Uh. Anyways, yeah, it's got hazard levels or difficulties, so we were we were playing on on hazard four, and I think five is the most. And we got to one point where, you know, we had to redo a mission many, 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 many times on on hazard four because it was like an endless wave of enemies which is you know kind of neat but it, you basically the game is like you got to complete your objectives really quickly um and you know you, you you go and you collect all this stuff but again it's not just like getting it sometimes it's really hard to get to sometimes you have to search for it and then you get like a wave of enemies and Somebody goes down and you gotta revive them and it's just like this whole and you run out of ammo and you gotta use some of the resources to call a new ammo drop and it, it got uh, pretty hectic so yeah but anyways I'm rambling all right blues first actually let's put let's put the greens over here just so we can finish up with blues clues. Oh, okay. Well. Okay. We're not looking at these. Just chuck them in there. Hopefully, we get a potion. Well, not these potions. You know what I mean. Ooh, that's a. Uh... Not gonna lie, this altar hasn't been uh, particularly uh, good to us. At all. Although we got one the, we got one thing. We're using a new helmet, so... At least we got something out of it. Not, it's not a bad helmet by any means. Um, Alright, let's... Uh, find out how the heck I... Go the next level. Then we go here. Oh, okay. It's not actually too bad. And, um, sorry. <clears throat> Let's keep on keeping on, ladies and gentlemen. So, wait, which level are we on? 14. If we're going 45, I'm trying to do the math. When we did 30 floors. Wait, are we on, are we going 40? Is this a 45 floor dungeon? Required on floor number 33. I'm confused. I don't know. I, I don't, basically what I'm trying to figure out is when we're actually going to fight the, uh. Hello, sir. Ooh, the uh, the spider boss. 710? Look at plus 47 strength, plus 50 dexterity, plus 575 max HP, plus 47 intelligence. Are you kidding me? It's got Master Smith, it's got uh, Master Disassembler, three levels of artisan, which doesn't really benefit us right now, but in the future when our cap goes up, um, and if we still had these, which we probably wouldn't at that point, it would benefit us, but. Um, some of these we may want to buy. It's 253 armor, intelligence 47, artisan. No, I want, oh, scrap collector is nice, but I want more disassemble and weaponsmith or master smith. It's a wand, arcane magic. 
So those are legs, right? Wow, 710. That's, I think, more than my chest armor. 47, 47, 50. Wow. So from 470 to 710, it's like 200 more max HP. It's 13 more strength and 47 intelligence and uh, 14 more dexterity. Yeah, it's just like Hello. far and away so much better. 73 equipment level? 78. Yeah, I knew that was going to be a big jump. Uh, let's see, we're doing 26 to 17 damage. 26, 584. I guess, yeah, it's not as big a, uh, a jump in, in strength. Because our current ones also have a good amount of strength. But 38, 54. 41, 19. Yeah, that's good stuff. And then, 253 and 47. Where are the gloves at? Uh, 33 more armor. You'd have 47 intelligence. You'd lose 20 strength and, and 19 dexterity. So let's look at the skills to see if that would maybe make us think about switching. Because technically, 47 intelligence, 47 is more than uh, 19 plus 20 is 39, right? I'm looking at the total stat points it gives. Mm. I think the other ones only had they did have scrap collector and the artisan now we're, we're kind of super overkill but hey, eh. be safe. let's do it wait which is which Okay, so they bring our equipment level up to by one. Which again, <laughs> just uh, nonsense. And then, I kind of want to bring another, but how much does this cost for the next altar? We're really not selling stuff, so that's why our money's not going up. It Like, it is, because we pick up little bits of money here and there, but... I'm going to buy that for our next altar. I like the perps. And, ooh, so now we're getting into the next level of potions. So it's 1833 versus 1616. I'm going to keep this stack, but once this stack gets, you know, 50 potions strong, we'll probably get rid of the other one. Um, just because with our, I mean, we, we do use potions here and there. When I get lazy and... and Take more damage than I should, but our lifesteal is, is just kind of ridiculous because... And some people agree with me uh, in the comments when I was talking about... Um, I feel like lifesteal should be... Tied to how much health they have, right? Not how much damage you do. It just doesn't make sense. You're stealing life from them. How can you steal... Like... More life than they have. Which we are definitely doing with our weapon. Because we're one-shotting stuff. And then the life is like 2,000 or 3. What is it? Like, they're 4,500. You don't have 4,500 life to steal. It's like, early on in the game, the life steal is insignificant. I, don't, I mean, it helps. Every bit helps. Especially when you don't have a ton of potions, you don't have enough money to buy potions. Where's the box? Must be up top. Okay, you know what? Um, so yeah, I think that's one thing that should actually be done is like it'd be a a, a portion of their health because like then I might actually start looking at my life steal. Or the lifesteal skill, or putting points in the lifesteal. Because it might matter more. Like, I think it would be more balanced as you progress through the game and just be a constant thing rather than the first few floors. I'm like, oh, I want to get as much lifesteal as I can. And then it's just like, 
it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. It does not matter. But, you know, again, that's just, this is feedback. I'm still having a good time wrecking stuff. The, the other thing I would say is, like, make it so you can buy other potions. Like, why not? Right? Sure, make them cost money. This is, I'm not saying make them cheap. But it would be nice <laughs> if you could buy more than just, uh... Help, help potions, there's one other potion you can buy. Are we supposed to actually jump across her? I know... We, we should be able to, but... You gotta, you gotta jump before the ledge. There we go. Uh, oh, and there's a button too. Okay. There you go. Uh, we'll just drink those. Oops. Hey, man, what are you doing? Now we gotta. I was gonna say we gotta jump back. We just gotta kind of jump down, which is nice. Um, bum 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 bum, bum 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 bum. Which way are we going? Owie, owie, owie. Okay, that's where the secret door is. Wait. Oh yeah, we already bought the stuff. Hello. Okay, you can die now. You, what do you, you didn't help them. I always get ticked off at the enemy when they just watch me murder their friends and they're like, dude. What are you doing? Help them, help them out. Oh, okay, one at a time. Actually, no, 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 not one at a time. That's too slow. I'll take you all on. At the same time. I feel like Andre the Giant in a Royal Rumble match. Just, you know. Tossing 20 dudes around. Uh, there we go. Wait. Went that way. Go this way now. Ooh, secrets. Oh, I haven't cranked one of these in a while. It feels like it's not as common, which is good because they always take so much time. You got to find the little secret kind of passage thingy. Uh, okay, we do not want those. I don't think these are... Special? Oh, they, they are green. What are you? You're nothing. If we're getting greens, we want, we want more greens. Uh, wait, what am I trying to do here? Blue? You're green as well. Oh, well. Uh, oh, we gotta pick up a key. Where's all oh, the keys up there? That's right. It's the secret. No, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, fortunately, we do not have to go far to get up top. It's another quest. I do also, like, there's, you know, another thing. I think it'd be cool if you could buy the, the, the elixirs and the enchantments. Again, for, like, maybe an obscene amount of money. Not saying they should be cheap at all. But why not? You know and maybe they're only available in the shop kind of like pretty rarely as well you know and I think it'd be cool if you could maybe cancel a quest at a cost perhaps maybe not for free 
I'm not trying to be greedy here, but you're like, maybe you you, you chose one and you're like, ah, I'm just not getting it done. I really want to take another quest. So maybe there's a cancellation fee. Or maybe you could have a choice. You either pay money, or maybe you can pay with your blood. I got all the all these great ideas. Maybe they're not you could argue they're not great, but I got ideas. I think some of them are marginally okay. What do you think, Mr. Mr. Green Man stuck in the web? You and your web of lies. Okay, I think we can We can go. Uh I'm gonna do one more floor. Like I said, I'm gonna actually try to make this a shorter video because but I can feel my nose is starting to run. I'm gonna start sniffling a lot, and that's not good for the that's not good for the video. Nobody wants to hear that, so. Um So that's how we're gonna do it. Alright, let's use a potion there. Are you a dead end? You're not. Oh, we gotta lure dudes into mechanical traps as well. We could have done that on this guy. Okay, big room. Big room is big. Open. There's an alt. Oh wow. There's an altar on this uh, floor. If not, I may just end up actually selling some stuff. You are not special. You're not special. You are not special. You are not special. Can't hold you. None of you are special. You just... Oh. Where did you come from, sir? I will sack you. I gotta sack more, man. My sack does a lot of damage. How much... What is the level? It's 10. That I think that's... Like, we put some points into it. Yeah, one permanent. But, uh, everything else is, uh... Just via items and and whatnot. It's great. Um... Dang it, I was talking about something and I already forgot. Did- I feel like, did Damien fix this so you don't have to go so far to... To get up them? Ah, uh, jeez. I don't I don't even know what to drop. Let's just drop that for a second and see if that's a blue. It's not. It's, a, it's another green. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I forgot what I was talking about. Bow, bow, bow. Sucks too, because I think it was it was it was gonna be something big, something important. The pots. I found elixirs in them before. They are worth your time. Ah, what was I? Oh, it just it kills you too. You you forget what you were gonna say. It's probably not actually important at all, but in your head, you're like, it was maybe the most important thing I was ever going to say in my life. There's a lot of traps here. Oh, the sack. Was it about the sack? No, I mean, this. What's? there's nothing to say about the sack. The sack is great. End of story. Okay, that's a blue. Let's... Oh, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. Okay, 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 okay. We are going... To fight you. I thought I already did this room. the heck is that? Is that a giant chest? What? That's a garbage bin? Is that new? 
No, I've seen that garbage chute once before, I feel like. I think? But like... Have I? Maybe I haven't. Hey. Hey. Okay, you know what? Oops. Can I? Is it not Q? Um... Can't get up my weapon? Um... This is not good. Like, I'm pressing Q and E. I'm gonna press a bunch of buttons. F worked. What is what is happening here? Um I'm confused. <laughs> uh Q and Q Let's try putting it on the hot bar. Maybe that'll. Oopsies. Pressing six. Okay. Um. I'm a little confused right now. What happened? I went to switch to my wand so I could attack that guy. Seven? I can drink potions. Uh, I think what I might do is just exit and load and hopefully that fixes it. Because I... And maybe if you know what the heck is going on, uh, let me know. But if I can't fight... I could do a sack only run. Where's my map? There we go. I guess I was spamming every button. Uh, yeah, I could theoretically sack stuff, but let's, you know, because this is going to be the last floor anyway, so it's, it's a bummer to end it like this. Let's just get some items that I dropped, I suppose. I don't know. Um, and we'll just, we'll just quit. We'll have to do the level again. Shouldn't take too long. Oh man, I gotta sneeze. Excuse me. Sorry, I had to mute. Uh, this is weird. Like, if this looks like an actual glitch or a bug, please let me know. If it's, I pressed the wrong button. Shift, like caps lock, alt, space. I'm right clicking, left clicking. Like I'm, I'm hitting every button I can think of. Obviously we did six and seven. Uh, I mean Q is what you switch the weapons. Yeah, it's, I mean, they can still sack. That's nice. Uh, <laughs> anyways, We'll, we'll get it sorted out. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, apologies for the, the shorter one, slash the sniffly one, slash the slightly maybe buggy one. Either buggy because of the game or buggy because of the operator, aka me. Um, we'll try to get it sorted for next, uh, next episode. Just means we gotta do this level over again at the very least, so. I was just gonna do it. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you're new around here, you enjoy Slasher's Keep, whatever else is going on the channel. Uh, subscribe if, if, yeah, if you're not already subscribed. And, and uh, yeah, that's going to do it. Until the next video, thank you very much. And peace out.